Jordan should and take care of it here today. Jordan Mason is the B-back. Cravante Benson lost for the season with the ACL last week in Tampa. And here's the option with Cersei around the edge. And Quay Cersei here today. The weather taking care of him. Even though we hit off the top, the hurricane just wreaking havoc down in the Carolinas. That's not the case here today. Beautiful football. Counter with Marshall and into the teeth of the pit defense. And he'll get a yard to here on third. Jackets was 6 of 14 against Pittsburgh a year ago on third down and a win in Atlanta. B-back, and this is Mason in He'll come up short. Only a couple the extra point, which was an adventure last weekend. The punting has looked good as well. Doing a good job on kick cover here, too. So a check mark there for Pitt so far in the keys to the game. And we're about to find out if Georgia Tech can also toss for Searcy. And he will spin from Virginia's and then the ball the ground five times. They lost four of those fumbles and still won. That's Jordan Mason. The be back trying to fight through. He'll get a couple of yards. Third down. Base set. Third down for Georgia Tech. Little counter coming back here to the near side. And Clinton Lynch will be taken down in space. And uh, our university. And I believe we can do some big things here. What have the first few months on the job been like for you? Hectic, uh, but exciting. It's, it's been crazy. It's been a lot of work. Uh, but it's been very exciting, and it's been cool to get to know the city. You obviously have your work. Guys, I've gotten to know Narduzzi very well. Hopefully our defense can hold up right here, and we can build, you know, keep up with the momentum that we have going. Coach, best of luck this season, for sure. And an incomplete pass. It was too short here. Just one step ahead, this defensive front. And now Marshall out of the pocket, and where Jenis got him around the tape. 51 to 6. And they've certainly played like an angry bunch of Panthers here so far today. Marshall straight ahead, and this is Jerry Howard, the B-back, number five. Benson. I'll bet you Pitt, the defense is glad that he's not playing today. He ran through them. They still haven't stopped with him last year at 35-17. This is Marshall. Option, and this is Howard around the edge, and Georgia Tech has their first first down of the day with the Marshall team for Jerry Howard. Cottrell as well. Quay Searcy. They get out there and they can still block up top and still do their job. Jerry Howard fights for a yard or two toward the 45 on first. Three on third down. Second period starts with second down. Marshall faked the pitch in trouble and then got combined on the top. But to try to do it that way. Slot set for the Jackets out of the timeout. Marshall going to keep it and run into Adoru. And then also, we'll access with Jeff Fischel. Check your local listings on your regional sports network. Broncos shredding the NAR. Here's Marshall. Option to the power, a wide side of the field. He'll get six on first down. It'll be six. Then he was pleading with his guys and his offensive line on the last one out, saying, just relax. This could come down to one play. We just got to fix some things. Jordan Mason, the D-back, fights for a couple. Right guard. In that first down, exactly. Jackets are hitless in four third downs. And a flag is thrown. Marshall will have the first down toward the 44. Now, let's see if this is movement on Georgia Tech or offside on Pittsburgh. Neutral zone infraction, I think. Jerry Magalena. Offside. offside. Defense. Defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. There you have it. A movement, but that's, but that's just a motion, man. It's just that. Or maybe there's another guy going. That's that right there to find the jacket struggle. Just two and a half yards on a play. And now Searcy tries to change that out as DeMar Hamlin banged him out of bounds. Some twins? I don't think so. You think they went to high school? Are they Hanson? First and ten. And boy, that play never materialized. Had their way early on, but now back with a second down and nine. Straight ahead, this is Mason flipped over, but he'll have a first down. Yeah, that's the right tackle spot. Will Bryan didn't make the trip. Yep. A late scratch. So here is Mason again on first down, and now Jordan Mason picking up for Will Bryan. Jahazel Lee even was banged up against USF last weekend. So. Eight play, Marshall on the pitch. Ball hit the ground. It looked like Clinton Lynch was able to fall on it. Let's see if the Panthers take advantage of it now. Malachi Carter, the wide receiver at the top of the screen. Here's Marshall. He can't get anywhere on the follow play. And Ryan Spear. Marshall 
three steps and offline to Jalen Camp. <laughs> Big spikes. We'll be bringing the noise at Cardinal Stadium, 7.30 on the Regional Sports Network for the cards and toppers. Here's Marshall trying to freeze option. Finally got a pitch. That's Jerry Howard around the left side and loose. Big sophomore into Pittsburgh territory. Great run for Howard. It seems like Paul Johnson getting on him. Good job on the perimeter out there. The guys on the outside blocking. Marshall wants to throw it. Here is Stewart on the post. Off his hands, incomplete. He had gotten in. That's Lynch in motion. Here's Marshall again. He will keep it, not get very much, maybe a yard. To well, Pat Narduzzi's run so much over his career as a defensive coach. Paying off right there. Let's see if they can get off the field, or at least stop it. Georgia Tech, one of four on third down, and Marshall will be sacked. You got to finish up this half right here in the locker room. Up 21 to nothing. What a first half it's been so far. Randy Bates side of the ball. Marshall going to run with it, and Taquan will be close to the first down and have it. 16, Marshall. Right. We get to hang out with Sean, though, again, wouldn't we? That'd be selfish of him. <laughs> Marshall will keep it. Stepped out of one tackle and near another first down. Taquan. No charge timeout on the play. So Georgia Tech still has the one timeout with 11 seconds. Marshall wants to throw. Going to cut it loose, and here's Jalen Camp, and he will stretch to the 35. You better believe Larry Fedora with that extra time. He's, he's going to have an angry bunch of Tar Heels, too. Here's Marshall, option play. He will keep it. Has 10, has 15. Does Taquan Marshall. Up. Get a couple good plays for him and let that snowball on a positive side for Georgia Tech. First down and 10. And procedure on Georgia Tech. You see that? Good to have him back out there. He was banged up early last year, but able to fight through it. Marshall thought about it and Pitt swallowed it up with Rashad. Then you stumble. You, you got him on their heels. You got to keep him on their heels, especially in this type of system. Here's Marshall. Quick throw. Offline for Camp, who slipped down. The midfield, though, for a fresh set of downs. Stewart and Camp with the wide receivers. Marshall in trouble. Dodging more trouble and finally goes down and then it's fumbled. And it's scooped up. And this is Rashad Weaver with the fumble recovery. Flag is. Oh, gosh. And I mean, that, again, that first play, they had something going. Can they keep it going now after? You know, here's a four yard game. That's that's well, fine. Spot today. Cervante Benson, their starter. Last year and in the first two ball games this year, lost last week with an ACL injury at South Florida. There's Marshall squeezing away from Weaver again. Marshall's a lot to do with that stuff. Third five, Georgia Tech one for seven on third down. Mason, first down to the 40. Jordan offense. And that dive play that he gave Pitt fits last year works to move the chains. That's Cersei in motion. Marshall pitches, and this is Mason around the edge. Jordan Mason inside the 20, 15, and inside the 10. First and goal, Georgia Tech at the 7. Inside the 10 and knocking at the door, trying to get their first touchdown, have got to continue to move forward. Jerry Howard's come in. Here's Marshall on the follow play. It'll be seen. Howard stays in as the B-back. Searcy in motion. Marshall on the follow again. Boy, got wrapped up right at the goal line. It'll be vocation. All those new bodies, all those new faces trying to be on the same page. Marshall diving. And he hit the end zone, but did he get enough of it to get in? Kids sure enjoyed the surfing. The swells from that hurricane, Florence. Making, <laughs> trying to make some lemonade out of Mother Nature's lemons. Marshall wants to cut it loose. Jalen Camp wide open, dropped it. And you, and you build, 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 build. You set it up, then boom, you hit him on him. When, when you go for the home run, you got to take advantage. Now Marshall just got hanging into the pit bench. Nathan Cottrell was the closest Georgia Tech player. So after back-to-back -back pass plays, third in the full 10. 
Marshall the pitch. Clayton Lynch dodges one man and then fumbled the ball. Pittsburgh says, "Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. Ball at the 44. Marshall out of the base set in the spread option. Quick pitch. This is Mason. Through two tackles. Jordan Mason to the 31-yard line. It's it's an eyes thing, but they're 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 at least coached right to do when they are beaten a little bit. They put those heads down and do everything they can to live and play another down. It's Jerry Howard fighting for about five of them. An offense that's rolling and has the pit panther defense. On its heels a little bit here now. Second and five and a long count. Marshall stops the or starts the option. Trying to turn it back up field. Blind. I better believe this is four down territory for Paul Johnson. Marshall on the follow play, close to the first down. It'll be fourth and about a half. Biggest play of the game right now, right to the action in the fourth quarter. Base set, Marshall will have it. Broke the plane of the twin version for a fresh set of downs. Good job by the offensive line to get low on that fourth down. And right at the mess point, Jerry Howard got banged back. And there's Rasheed. A couple Floridians that really big time futures. Young guys. What a young, talented players here at Pitt from the Sunshine State. That's Lynch in motion. Here's the pitch to the B back Howard. And Jerry Howard has it around the edge. First and goal at the seven. We'll go about it. Staying up high, clearing the way for Howard. First and goal now. Georgia Tech getting some mileage out of the pitch game here. Here is Marshall for the score. Taquan Marshall on first and goal goes seven yards. Play clock to eight for Taquan Marshall. Carter in motion. Marshall looks back. Now going to throw Stewart offline. Never really had a chance. Defended by Paris. Yeah, <laughs> running out of room for those canes down at the bottom. Georgia Tech's best starting position today, and Quay Searcy pushing toward the first down. On this side of the ball, offensively, things are starting to click. Keep them clicking and keep it clean. Marshall, wow, took a big hit that time. Good job by Don to run down stuff him for a short game. With Marshall. Oh, man, it looks like they might have had the horse. Especially trailing 12, but throw in the fact that they missed the extra point early. Marshall, miscommunication, intercepted in the end zone, and away with it comes Motley. Felipe Motley working upfield, and he'll be brought down at the 22. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Ball at the one after the special teams play, and offensive... Ball start. Offense. Ball start penalty six, The receiver they're on the punt cover team to get down there, throw that line, knock it back on the punt is huge. There's Marshall working the angle all the way to the edge, and Taquan will have a first down. Out to the 60. It's, it, especially in this offense, you can't wait till there's two minutes left to run that two-minute offense. A lot of time going off the clock in between. In trouble, got to cut it loose, and tried to get it to Brad Stewart. And Marshall, call draw. First down. Clock continues to move inside of 26 carries. Ball ready to snap it now. Here he comes again. Cuts it back upfield. He'll have a first down to the 39. Down to the opener, 419 last week. He had 602 total yards last year against Pitt. Off the hands of the intended receivers. Second in the full 10. Middle screen for Mason, and he'll get a couple of yards to the 41 on the catch. Field in Gallatin, Tennessee. Pitt just just did a, like a hockey line change. They sent about five new bodies and they weren't ready with their hands in the grass. And a good job by Marshall to snap that ball. Just don't give him the big hitter by trying to overrun and make something happen. Marshall wants to throw again. Another quick shot to Brad Stewart. 
Inside the foot. money now, and they need it the most. They're under two minutes. Anything they can to chip away at this 12-point lead. Just a yard or two. Run plays. That little dive play. There's Marshall again. Now the near side and a catch by Malachi Carter. He looked like he was out of bounds. Second catch of the year for Carter, who had one last week at Tampa. 120 to go. Marshall looking right and Stewart. Out. I don't think it ever touched the ground. Uh, <laughs> it was a good play by Martin. 12 play of the drive here for Georgia Tech. Marshall on the pitch and angled out of bounds is Amari eight to go. Slot set for Georgia Tech. Marshall and tried to get it to Stewart and now a flag is thrown, I believe, against Paris on four. Marshall called draw at the five. And Here's the pitch, and around the edge, Clinton Lynch, the touchdown. 